What's up guys and welcome to another video. My name is Michael. Today I'm gonna show you a fun and easy setup that you can use to take pictures of products or in this case of toys. So today I'm gonna show you how to turn a simple flat image like this one and turn it into something like this. Pretty cool, right? All right, so first thing we need to identify our product. In this case, we're gonna be using the Rebel Solder from Star Wars, okay? Second, we need to figure out our composition. Are you gonna be using a table? Are you gonna be using a backdrop? Are you gonna be using a diorama? Once you figure that out, obviously we need to figure out how your, your your product, your action figure is gonna be posing. If it's an action figure, is it gonna be in action? Is he, is he gonna be fighting someone else? Uh, whatever you're taking pictures of, figure how you wanna shoot this. If you're gonna add other additional elements, go ahead and have that organized. Once you have that figured out, then we move to the tools. In this case, we're gonna be using three lights. We're gonna be using two Loom Q lights. Uh, this kit in particular, uh, I did a review maybe about two weeks ago. I highly recommend to watch this video. Uh, you don't need to watch it before this one, but whenever you get a chance in the description, make sure you visit that link. I did an unboxing and also I reviewed these lights. Excellent, highly recommend them. Uh, we're gonna be using our third light, which is our Sokani light, which is this one right here. Uh, and then we're gonna be using uh, two tripods. We have this small tripod right here, really nice. You can extend the legs and it's not high enough where you can't work on a table. So this is a really good size if you're gonna be photographing on a table or in a small little place. Uh, and then we're gonna be using my favorite, which is the Gorilla Pot, this one right here. Love it, highly recommend it. And also we're gonna be using uh, our cardboard, our two cardboard, um, this is the cardboard inside the toilet paper so I'll show you in the video how I'm gonna be using this I highly recommend them and they're free they're at home and also I'm gonna be using a door stop I use these when I need to set my cue lights in an angle so I'll show you in the video really really cool all right and last I have these cases that I've been collecting these are from my lens filters instead of throwing them away I'm using them to level my action figures or in this case we're going to be using our light so in case I need to bring them a little bit higher I can just put another layer and bring it a little bit higher or I can use it this way sideways and it's another way this is how we're going to use it in the video in case we need a little bit more height so I'll show you in the video uh, really really cool so if you have these don't throw them away or recycle them just keep them all right, so let's get right into it. But before we move on, let me go ahead and change really quick. Here we go. All right, guys, and now without further ado, let's get right into it.
All right, guys, that's it for today. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please let me know in the comments below. Like always, if you did like this video, make sure to like it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure to subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell. If you're on Instagram, make sure to follow me at Michael's Collectible. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.